Now you can perform an analysis of the production monitoring system. For this process, use the Analysis menu and the submenus Numericals and Parts Counters. First, let's look at Numerical Trend. Here you can view all the evaluation objects in a table. Here you can see a description of the object. In this example, there are three maximum EOs. The screen shows the evaluation result of the last cycle. In this example, everything is OK. You can also see the process values. In this example, because it is a maximum evaluation element, the process values are the maximum pressure valves of the curve and the times at which the maximum values occur. You can see the effect of the evaluation result on the parts counter. Here, although all OK parts are now identified as OK, only bad parts are shown. Let's go to the Analysis tool, Parts Counter. You can see the evaluation results and the sorting results for the channels. As you can see, the evaluation result for the three channels with evaluation objects is OK. Only channel 4, which has no evaluation object, is evaluated as a bad part. This is the case by default because without an evaluation object, the monitoring device cannot guarantee that the channel is good. In this case, this one bad part causes all parts to be marked as bad because the parts are all separated out together. <laughs> <laughs>